Your house is for sale and it's not selling. In this video, I'm gonna tell you three reasons why your house is not selling. My name is Calvin Strain, I'm a realtor in Dallas, Texas, and I make sure homeowners sell their home quickly and for top dollar. The number one reason why your house is not selling is that it's priced too high. I'm not sure if it's a for sale by owner or if you're using a realtor, but this is the number one rule, cardinal sin, do not break it in real estate. If your house is priced too high, it's not gonna sell. Buyers are smarter than you think and they're gonna know if your house is priced too high for the neighborhood, for the location, and for the condition of your home. So if your house isn't selling, that's probably why. What you should do whenever you're pricing your home is base the price around the comps. What you're gonna look at is houses in your neighborhood that are similar size, square footage, uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, and then price your house according to that based on the updates that, you've ha that you have versus them or they have versus you. So if your house is updated, then price it higher. If their house is updated, price it higher. But not too much, you gotta know the ceiling and floor of your neighborhood. The number two reason why your house is not selling is bad marketing. If you're a for sale by owner, this is probably you. Whenever you list a home for sale, you need to make sure that it is listed on all the major real estate platforms. Whenever you're using a realtor, they can just put it in the MLS and it'll automatically syndicate to all the different websites out there that show properties for people to look at. But if you're for sale by owner, you'll need to go through and do it one by one to make sure that your house is out there. This can be a big burden as there's many different platforms and they are new ones popping up every single day. It also can get overwhelming as you may have to go through and manually update one by one and this can just easily burden you, overwhelm you. Using a realtor is definitely very helpful in this. Your house is gonna need professional photos and a good property description. This is important because the photos are gonna lure people in as many people start their home search online. They're gonna look through the photos, browse the photos, and if they're not professionally done, they'll be able to tell that and you won't be able to put your best foot forward through the pictures. The property description is also very, very helpful as this helps buyers imagine the way that they're going to live in your home once they move in. The number three reason why your house is not selling is it does not show well. The first two are on the realtor. This one is on you. You need to clean up your house every time before a showing. Make sure that it presents itself well and you don't have a lot of clutter on the floor, that, you know, your kids' toys, whatever. I mean, clean up as best you can before every single showing. Also, before you put your house for sale, your realtor should have told you this, but maybe not. You need to do a little bit of upkeep to make sure that it looks the best way possible. So if there's a little bit of paint chipped here, we'll just go buy some white paint or whatever color paint it is from Home Depot and just cover that paint up. You need to just do a little bit of additional work to make sure that your house looks the best way it can before you list it for sale. There you have it. Three reasons why your house is not selling. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Calvin Strain Real Estate. Send me a DM with your questions or leave a comment below. And remember, when buying or selling real estate, you need a guide that you can trust. Trust the beard.